Day in, day out, politicians and pundits tell us what we should really be afraid of. But what if there's something out there that's bigger than all of those threats? Something deadlier than, say, terrorism? A threat which could result in something as small as a paper cut killing you? Because that's what the world was like before antibiotics. And we could be heading into a world now where antibiotics don't work anymore. The consequences of that could be catastrophic. Listen to the UK's Prime Minister speaking here to the BBC. We are in danger of going back to the dark ages of medicine. Wow, the dark ages. But he's a politician, not a doctor. We are in the post-antibiotic era. Yeah, that's the head of the World Health Organization, sounding the alarm bell. A recent study found that globally, in 2014 alone, 700,000 people died of drug-resistant infections. By 2050, it said drug-resistant superbugs could kill 10 million people a year. That's more than cancer kills now. So whose fault is all this? Well, the greedy drug companies, reckless doctors, and you, well, us. Because antibiotics, as medical experts point out, are miracle drugs that should be used sparingly. You overuse them and they don't work. And yet between 2000 and 2010, global antibiotic use skyrocketed by almost 40%. In the UK, 97% of patients who asked their doctor for an antibiotic got one. Look, we can't say we weren't warned. Sir Alexander Fleming, pioneer of the first true antibiotic, penicillin, called it almost a century ago. The thoughtless person playing with penicillin treatment is morally responsible for the death of the man who succumbs to infection with the penicillin-resistant organism. And yet here we are today, running off to our doctors, demanding antibiotics for even the mildest of sore throats. FYI, antibiotics don't work for most sore throats. To borrow a line from the top British economist Jim O'Neill, who led the UK research into global antimicrobial resistance, unless we stop doling out antibiotics like sweets, we're going to kick off an antibiotic apocalypse killing millions. Is that scary enough for you?